Hi, my name is Rex Beeland and welcome to this week's painting demonstration. Just quickly go over the colors, the usual ones. Uh, I might be using some dioxazine purple this time. Certainly ultra, uh, burnt sienna, little alizarin crimson, cad red light, yellow ochre, maybe a bit of cad yellow light, and I have a bit of viridian here, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, cerulean blue. So. Okay, first of all, I'm taking some ultramarine blue, a little bit of yellow ochre, a little burnt sienna, but definitely it's a blue, a little bit neutralized. Just making it a bit stronger, making sure to keep it a blue. Okay, now I'm taking this, I can go right over the roof because it'll be darker. This is a very important part to keep that light there. And go over everything, the whole front of the building. Add a little bit of other color there. Just, okay, just adding a little bit of yellow to this side. Give it a little bit of a glow over there. Then I want to... I'm just darkening it a little bit in the middle here. And then I want to continue the house of the shadow. It goes out diagonally like this. Just straighten up the edge there a bit. Now I'm making this mixture a little grayer, a little stronger than the wash at the front, but I want it to be weaker than what the roof will be. And there's going to be some palm trees, so these I'm getting the reflection of the palm trees. Same mixture. just uh, a little bit stronger for the roof. Ultramarine and burnt sienna. Now I go over that first blue. Everything looks fine. Just trying to be a little bit careful at the top here. I had the slope of that roof going the wrong way, so I'm just adjusting that. Okay, and now there's a tree on this side. Um, so I'm putting this lighter green at the bottom, and then later when it dries, I'll add a darker green at top. Now I'm mixing up a very light green. You can see it's quite wet, quite light. And this is for the grass. So you can see it's a very wet wash. Just going to the edge of that boardwalk. And then I'm now adding more of the cad yellow light to uh, show where the sun's really hitting it. And then really the same mixture, adding more blue as we get further away from the center. Kind of a bluey green. Bit of lawn over there. Now I'm letting the paint dry between these uh, various sections. So now I'm coming in with this darker green to do the foliage and then leaving a bit of the lighter one sh showing through at the bottom. I 
I just want it to be rich enough so I don't see that old, uh, the first wash showing through. Okay, I'm mixing up a bluey green here. And this I'm going to be doing some palm. A palm tree. This is really letting the brush create the shapes rather than laboriously trying to paint each frond. And then I carry on with just a regular uh, in a regular way to do the rest of the foliage at the bottom of the house, you know, bush here, um, going around the pillar and carrying on to the other side. Just adjusting the value a little bit. Now I'm going under the underhang, go around the, uh, the pillar, and I'm not going right to the bottom. I'm going to just take just water so that it very naturally flows to the bottom. Adding some dioxazine purple. It looks very strong here, but actually it turned out to be not strong enough little ambidextrous stroke there. Yeah, it looks so bold now. <laughs> and now I'm putting a, a, a stroke here and washing off one side of it. And this is to indicate the uh, fascia board. I'm taking my half inch flat because there's little bits of wood hanging down under the roof so I want to paint around those and again just taking pure water and uh, floating the bottom down same thing over here darkening this stroke that uh, creates the fascia board. I, I should really have darkened it even more. Switch back to my big pointed brush. Now I'm going to go in and with a real dark and do the windows. And I'm going to really try and you know get my perspective straighten off the edges and square everything up. Now the, the challenge I'm having here is to get the right amount of water on the brush. You can sort of see it puddling and I, I didn't really want it to puddle. My goal was to get that first wash down and then uh, put some other stronger color into it. but. To, you can't really do that when it's this wet. Partially that's because this is a, a small sized um, painting, 9 by uh, 12. Just so I had, it was too wet there, so I dry it off and go in and detail the windows at the front. And again, it, it's desirable to really control the amount of water on the brush. So that you don't you don't really want puddles in these windows, so that I can go in with some stronger color, particularly under the overhang. So now I'm doing the door. And a little putting a little window over here. Another one over here. Now let's see I'm I'm floating some color in there, but the, the first wash is a little too wet to get the effect I want. 
good idea, but I'll get it next time. I really want under the overhang to be the center of interest, so it's my strongest value. And then put my couple of figures in. This is a guy leaning against the pillar. Talking to his buddy here. This is really just to beef up my center of interest. I just feel that the... Um, this door is not large enough, so I'm just increasing it. Yeah, that's better. There's a bit of a step under it. Just squaring off some of the angles a bit. Now I'm mixing up a, uh, a medium blue green, and I want some uh, shadows on the lawn. I want them at a diagonal, and the real purpose is to highlight the sun shining. Just trying to make them interesting here. A little bit of darker value in there. Try a little bit of splatter, never hurts. Same color for the sort of the shadow of the house beyond the uh, boardwalk. You can see it's really starting to develop a nice sense of light. I just didn't find this tree shape to be, uh, or I don't find it to be too convincing, so I'm taking some uh, stronger wash. And I'm putting it all over, but I'm really concerned with the top. So I'm going to really push the, uh, the hairs into the paper to get a little bit of a broken edge. I like this shape a lot better. Now I'm switching to my smaller pointed brush. And I'm going to detail all the boards on the building. Just a little bit strong, so add some water. A real touch of realism here. And here I'm leaving a little edge around the window so I don't go right to the window and it kind of it's almost like there's a board around the window or something. These lines are a bit rough but that's fine. You can see it adds a nice touch to it. Now the pillar on this side, you can't really see it because it's white, so I'm putting a, the shadow kind of on the back of it so that you, you, you kind of can see it. Now here, I had paint on my hand, I didn't see it. <laughs> so I left this in just to show you uh, one way to repair it because I just didn't like this at all. So I'm scrubbing it out, but you can see where I've scrubbed it out. So I have to go over it. 
you can still sort of see it but fortunately I'll be putting another wash down here so I hope by the end you don't really notice it it's much better anyway Just this boardwalk is almost a white, but I'm putting a little wash on it just so it doesn't compete with the whites on the house. Put a railing over here. And then just a bit of a shadow under the boardwalk. Nice element. And now bit of a shadow cast on the boardwalk by these bushes and things also over here and now I'm switching to my uh, this is actually I think a one and a half inch and I'm putting uh, a wash on just the bottom of the, the lawn and what it does is focus your eye towards the center of interest now just some detailing of the boardwalk And back to the one inch. Yeah, I'm just scumbling in. This is, is going to read as bits of grass and everything. I just didn't like that shape there. So I kind of wash that off. Blot it up. I let it dry. And now I just kind of went over it. It almost looks like you're spoiling that beautiful wash, but by the end it'll just blend in. Just give it a little bit of uh, more interest and detail to that area. Now I'm taking uh, blue mix for the the sky is kind of dark, and I'm, I want it to be darker on the right side here, and then I'm switching to much more water for the left side. Now, you can't really see it yet, but the tree on the right side was not quite dry enough, so it bleeds a bit, kind of turning it into a mountain, but that's okay. Little color for the faces, darken the clothes a bit. I chose not to put a white highlight on these figures because they're really in the uh, shadow, and so I'm looking at them as a dark against the lighter background. Yeah, now the palm trees seemed a little weak to me, so I'm just taking a darker mixture. And uh, that's pretty much it. A few final touches.